Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, also known as the guy that with his family sold literally everything he owned almost five years ago, went all into Bitcoin and started travel the world. Now coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain before we will fly to Mexico. Yes. Uh, one or two more days over here and then we will fly to Mexico where we will visit Tulum we already booked something over there uh, in the middle of a huge crypto community I see all the crypto influencers that are the Dutch, the German, the English, the Swedish, the American they're all in Tulum so I need to be there as well making a short video today because we are packing and doing all the stuff you know how it is to do the packing and all that shit while you have three kids, puber kids it's like a little bit stressy <laughs> and you will probably see this all in the new episodes of Gokstein Media because yes we took a break for a couple of weeks and now we are going to create season two the Bitcoin family is going to Mexico so you will see the first episode I think next Friday about how we packed what we already did how we decided and then we will take you on this six eight ten week trip all the way through Mexico. Of course today talking about the Bitcoin price, also talking about the Ethereum price because I know that's something that is really important for you to see. Talking about the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee and yes a little bit talking about the family but I try to keep it short because of the uploading and because I don't have time. So enjoy today's complete video with amazing charts, amazing news and some really cool Bitcoin family stuff. BAM! First things first, let's jump into the Bitcoin TA part. This part, bam. Yes, this time we are not starting with Bitcoin. What? Not starting with Bitcoin? You're the Bitcoin family. Yes, we are the Bitcoin family, which means that we are one kick ass family because all cryptocurrencies were started after Bitcoin. So, kinda, they are all one big family. Because Bitcoin was the grand grand granddad and then all those other projects were hard forked or soft forked from Bitcoin or took Bitcoin's idea and changed it here and there a little bit, like tweaked it. So they all came from this huge Bitcoin and that's why we call it the Bitcoin family, not because we only support Bitcoin but because we see all our community as family and we as a family build stuff together but we also see all the cryptos as a family because we are completely decentralizing the world and disrupting the current monetary system as a family, like a cryptocurrency family and we call it the Bitcoin family. Bam. So today I'm not going to start with Bitcoin and yes I will be walking up and down here during this almond, how do you call this? Almond, almond plantage? Is it a plantage? I don't know how you call this. They grow almonds on the tree. How do you call this? Comment down below the video and teach me some better English because I'm a Dutchie. Yes, you notice that on my accent. But let's start today with Ethereum because I'm seeing something very cool in Ethereum that you should see as well. Check this chart. Bam. Like you can see, on Ethereum. Yes, we saw an all-time high of almost 2,000 US dollar. But if we would double the previous all-time high, we need to go to 2,800 US dollar. And you can see now on this rising wedge, on this four-hour chart, that we are about to break out. Normally, in a rising wedge, you will break out downwards. But now, because of all the bullish news in Ethereum and all the things happening in this industry, I think we could break to the upside. And if we break out to the upside, you can see that we would be able to break with about 30%, which would bring us to that beautiful number of 2,700 US dollar, which would almost be a doubling of the previous all-time high. If we break to the downside, yes, we can fall also with 30%, which would bring us back to 1,250 US dollars, something in that. But that is not the cool part of Ethereum that I want to show you. This is just a technical analyst, and this is what it should be doing breaking out to the upside or the downside, I bet on the upside, so I still hold on my Ethereum, and yes, I added more Ethereum to my portfolio from the moment that I saw Ethereum breaking 600 US dollar, so yes, those Ethereum still holding, I believe we will go to 2,800 US dollar, but I believe that we can go even way, way higher with Ethereum. What? You're only talking about Ethereum. Yes, Bitcoin will come next, but if you look at this chart, bam, here you can see 
that at the all-time high in 2017, Ethereum compared to Bitcoin, so the BTC slash Ethereum pair, Ethereum reached a high of 0.12 Bitcoin, 0.12 Bitcoin. If you look now to where Ethereum is, Ethereum is around 0.037 Bitcoin. So we need to go like three times, almost four times higher from here to reach an all-time high compared to Bitcoin. Because the Bitcoin all-time high was at that point around 20k and Ethereum was then 0.12 to that 20k. A little bit later, I think Bitcoin was already going to 18k and in February Ethereum reached this 0.12 uh, all-time high compared in Bitcoin. So I believe that Ethereum can even go back to that level of 0.12 Bitcoin. And that would mean that Ethereum would be going to 4, 5, maybe even 8k if Bitcoin will go to 80,000 US dollar. So this is the number I'm looking to at as well. Not only Ethereum compared to the US dollars, because why would we compare to the US dollar if we see Bitcoin as this new like store of value, gold, and peer to peer cash. Let's compare it to Bitcoin and then Ethereum has even more upwards possibilities than we see on this pennant chart that I showed before. Really positive news for Ethereum, but now let's quickly jump into Bitcoin as well. If we were talking about Bitcoin, let's take a look at the four hour chart as well. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see that the Bitcoin price is moving in this upward channel. The channel has a top of 56,000 US dollar and the bottom of around 48,000 US dollar. So now it is important, we are moving around this midline. Now it becomes important to realize that we could go to the top of this channel, which is 56,000 US dollar, or we could go to the bottom 48,000 US dollar. If we go to the top of 56,000 US dollar, then again, it becomes important to see if we break out of this channel or that we test the 56k before we drop back to the bottom of the channel 48k which could be a very beautiful trading opportunity of course if we break the top of the level 56k yes then we will be able to even take it to 60k and even at the end to 65k because that were the targets i shared with you a couple of videos ago but let's see what happens, but we can't, because we always look for the confirmation. And if we see the confirmation that we are going to break out, we are going to trade it. If we see the confirmation that we are going to be rejected by the top of the channel, we are also going to trade it because the BAM BAM indicator, the TikTok indicator, they will all tell us if we are going to break or if we're going to see resistance. If you want to know more about the BAM BAM and the TikTok indicator, by the way, then please visit the bitcoinfamily.com. Our new website will be online soon or click one of the links down below the video that will go that will take you to the discord server where you can find all the information um, about the tiktok about the bam bam and about the whole bitcoin family community that we are building over there bam talking about the bam indicator and the tiktok indicator let's take a look at the chart yesterday's because it was really busy yesterday i only did two trades but let's take a look at this chart this one Bam! On this chart, you can see we traded with 500 US dollar with a leverage of 10. Yes, and we traded only two times. The first trade was a trade of 1.5% profit with a leverage of 10, around 15% profit, which took the beautiful amount $500 to 570 US dollar. And yes, that trade was a short. And then the second trade was a trade after that one directly was a long. It was a long of 1.35% profit. 13.5% with a leverage of 10, which took the 570 US dollar into around 650 US dollar, which means we only made a $150 profit. Um, that's not a huge profit, but it's still a profit. And it was a very flat market. There were not many trade opportunities. So that was why I left the market and I had much more things to do. So only two trades, but still $150 in the pocket. Bam! Then guys, one more chart because I, I promise you to keep you up to date on this very important indicator that will tell us if we are topping out in the market or not. So I will keep repeating this chart like every two, three, four days. Let's see if there is big changes. This chart, bam, the MVRV. Yeah, like you can see, we are now touching that red box, you know, horizontal red box. Like you can see on the left of the chart in 2017 and 2013, we went through the red, red box all the way up to the level of 9, almost 9.8 even. So we are just beginning. And the moment we will enter the red box and we will go to the top of the red box, yes, that it will be the moment that we will be watching this very clearly because that could mean that the market is going to turn around. So yes, I will do a short update on this MVRV chart every day. So keep watching the videos and you will be updated on what is going to happen and when we will be nearing the top of this cycle. Bam! That were all the charts for today. Let's jump into the news part.
the first news I want to talk to you guys about is this over the Brits. The Brits did a survey and like four out of the ten Brits think that the stock market is as risky as the crypto market. This is really positive. So the Brits almost think that the stock market is also as risky as the Bitcoin market. It's not 10 of the 10, but 4 of the 10. So 40% of the Brits thinks, yeah, you can also trade cryptocurrency because, you know, the stock market is also risky. I think this percentage will increase tremendously in the upcoming time if we will see more of this Reddit stuff happening and, you know, the whole Robin Hood stuff happening and, you know, the whole short squeeze stuff happening the more that will happen with the traditional markets and the more the traditional markets will show the traditional stock market i'm talking about will show you that they are able you know to increase the fees and to stop people trading so they will show you that they are pretty centralized and just playing around with the game not by the rules but they are bending the rules uh, you know then more and more people will go into a decentralized version cryptocurrency stock market where it is way more honest than in those traditional ones where you can see now that there is being played by huge 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 parties that do not play by the normal rules bam it was 6,000 people that um, filled in this survey of those 6,000 people a huge part was generation z and from generation z 40 percent said yes crypto is safe -o. so yes it is very safe to trade in crypto from those 6,000 people a big part was also generation x and from generation x about 22 percent says yes crypto is safe so in average yes we get more and more people that admitted in the survey, yes, we are going to look into investing in Bitcoin in 2021. So yes, 2021, beautiful year for Bitcoin it is. Bam! And talking about, you know, what I just said about the traditional stock markets not playing a fair game. Yeah, let's take a look at what Arthur, Arthur Hayes, the, the former CEO of BitMEX, has to say. Because I think he was in the winter sleep or something. I didn't see him in any news article. And now he popped up again. He had a news article on the Cointelegraph. And he was telling now, man, everybody should leave the traditional stock markets because it's rigged. It's not honest what they are doing there. So everybody should stop with doing all the trades on this traditional like unfair stock market and just leave that industry and come to the crypto industry because the crypto space treats all their people all their tra traders as first class members not as like second class members when there is an elite that calls themselves the first class members and they rule the whole and they rig the whole game in crypto he is saying this is not the game so please guys leave the traditional finance and come into this new decentralized finance that we call cryptocurrency and DeFi and PriFi and all the other new evolutionary products in the finance industry bam then there was one more news item I really found interesting that was uh, about the RAI, R-A-I. RAI is forked from the DAI. DAI was already a decentralized stablecoin, um, but the DAI was still packed to the USDC, which was again pegged to the dollar. So it is more decentralized than the USDT, but still not, I think, completely decentralized. And now we have the RAI, R-I, the R-A-I, that one, yeah, Didi. That one is now saying we created a completely decentralized stable currency that is not packed to any traditional currency. So not to the dollar, not to the euro, not to gold, no. This one is completely decentralized, packed to Ethereum. And then you might say, but Ethereum, Ethereum goes up, down, up, down. How can you create a stable coin out of that, out of being backed up by Ethereum? Because big Ethereum is really volatile. And that is exactly the secret this Rai company has. They are working with a PID controller or a PID controller. I need to look deeper into what it is, but I'm just not, I'm just sharing this news already with you so you can do your own research as well. But this Rai project is working with a PID controller, which makes it possible even during the test days, they prove that even when Ethereum went up with 250%, in that period, the Rai only saw a volatility of 4%. So that's pretty stable for a stable coin that's being backed up by a very volatile cryptocurrency like Ethereum. Because Ethereum went up 250% and the Rai only saw showed volatility of 4%. So really stable. This whole PID controller system is making sure 
that the rye is doing that but again i need to dig in deeper into this but this is really cool because then we would have a completely decentralized stable coin not pegged to the dollar not pegged to the euro not pegged to any other traditional currency which would make it really interesting because then it would be able to build all these DeFi industry projects and and back them all up with a decentralized stable currency that is completely disconnected from the whole traditional fiat system that would be really awesome that is why i'm going to keep an eye on rye that that's a rhyme i'm going to keep an eye on rye yeah that was the first funny thing i said today ah, i feel a little bit stressed i need to do a lot of stuff today uh, to prepare for our trip to mexico tomorrow so probably tomorrow saturday and sunday i can only do a live which i always do but the life will be a little bit shorter the life in dutch will probably be when we will be driving from alicante to madrid to the airport and the life in english will probably be on sunday evening because then we will be arriving in um, mexico so the english ama will be in mexico and the dutch one will be when we are driving from here to madrid airport yes my days are fully booked with cool stuff BAM! That was all the news for the day, that were all the charts for the day. Leaves me a little bit talking about uh, the Bitcoin family. We are growing tremendously. I'm talking to so many parties that want to support the Bitcoin family. Yes, maybe enlisting and all that other stuff. Let's take it step by step. We as a huge Bitcoin family need to grow to each other. We need to form a core team that will help structuring everything. The new website is being built. The Discord is being um, improved. We are probably going to announce uh, in the end of this weekend three more products that we are going to launch uh, yes not completely new products one of the products is a product we already use we will completely improve that project and so we will i will probably have some really cool news during the lives that weekend but i can't share anything yet so please please join these amas this weekend because i might have some really surprising very cool news for you guys that you will love so subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you will be informed when I will go live. Because it's really cool for you guys to see and to hear the news that I'm going to share with you during this weekend. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching today. Sorry it was a little bit less funny. Sorry it was a little bit unstructured. But that's what you get when you are leaving to Mexico with a family of five. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow during the live VMA in Dutch and Sunday during the live AMA in English. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bam!